Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you can forward multiple emails at the same time in Gmail and we're going to be using a free extension called Multi-Email Forward by CloudHQ. So this company provides many different uh, extensions for Chrome and Gmail and that type of thing. And you just install it by clicking on the typical install extension in Chrome or add to Chrome and it should work for Edge as well. And you'll probably have to sign up for a free account to use it. But one good thing about doing that is once, you hear, once you're signed up, you'll have this little guy here in, in your Gmail. So when you click on that, you can manage all your apps or extensions. See which ones you have installed. And then you can see all the other ones that are available. So it's pretty cool. They have a lot of stuff. All right, and what you might want to do too before we show you how it works is go to your extensions here. You'll see you have it here. You might want to pin it, and I'll show you why in a second. All right, so we're going to forward some junk email here from the promotions folder or label. So let's say let's do these first four. They don't have to be in order. So once you have them there, just click on this button here, multi-email forward. Then you'll have the option to forward selected emails individually, all in one email as an email attachment, as an you know, email file or PDF. And then there's some other migrate transfer only emails matching the current folder or migrate transfer all emails. And then there's some upgrades. So let's start first by the, uh, do the uh, forward selected emails individually. Send them to Cindy. And then here's an upgraded feature if you want to preserve email headers and metadata. So, you know, some of these apps, you know, they have uh, premium versions with extra features if you want to pay for them, but we're using the free one for this video. So we're going to click on forward. So it says you could click on this arrow here to monitor the forwarding. So let's do that. So four emails are being forwarded. And so the free account, you could do 50 emails at a time here. Okay, so nothing in the queues. Now we'll go over to Cindy here. And you can see we have all four of these here that we forwarded, just like that. All right, so now let's try these same four, and we'll put them in one email. So it's converting them into one email here. All right. So you can see the uh, contents of each one here. So we'll send that off. All right, so now we'll go over to Cindy and see what we got here. All right, so forward of four email conversations. So you can see it combined all four of the little junk emails into one email. Just like that. All right, then one more example here. We'll do the same four, and we'll do it as uh, PDF attachments. All right, so now we have options here. So PDFs, text, or HTML. Separate PDF for each email or one PDF. And then you could name it if you want. We'll just leave the default. Uh, the, set the order, newest to oldest, oldest to newest. And the format, we'll just leave it as letter. Then you could change these options here for page numbers and so on. So we'll do a separate PDF for each uh, email here. So what you notice sometimes is when you do the PDFs, you know, if there's a lot of graphics in it, you might have a larger PDF like that. So you make sure you check the size before you use this option here. Let's just put PDF on the end here just so we know that that is the PDF version. Send it to Cindy again. Send it off. All right, let's refresh here. All right, so here's the email with all the attachments here. Say so we open this one. So there you go, just like that. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty easy to use there and pretty, pretty easy to install. But like I said, the free feature, it's uh, 50 emails. Um, it's actually not at a time. It's 50 emails a day that you could forward if you want to use the free version. But I don't know if you're going to be doing forwarding more than 50 bulk emails at one time a day in your Gmail, but if so, you might want to check out the pay for version. So I'll put a link in the description for the extension. 
then you could uh, install it and try it out for yourself. And if you don't like it, you just come back and remove it, or you could come up here to your extensions, that is. Click on the three dots, and then uh, remove from Chrome, and you'll be back to normal. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.